the disappearance of Mamta Kafobat. It's been more than a month since anyone has seen the young mother from Virginia, and we're starting to learn more about what police think happened to Mamta. So tonight, we want to try to answer another question we've heard from so many of you. Where is Mamta's baby girl? Is she safe? Let's bring in Katie Lesso. And Katie, you've been helping to lead our coverage of Mamta's story. You spoke with the immigration attorney who is working with her family. What was she able to tell you? Well, tonight she told me that mini Mamta, as they are calling her, the one year old little girl is safe. And tonight is with Mamta's mother and brother who arrived in the United States early yesterday morning. There's no doubt that the little girl whose face we've blurred in these TikTok videos was so loved by her mother, Mamta Koflabot. Mamta has now been missing for more than a month. Is there hope that she's still out there somewhere? Uh, I hate to give hope that she is, but I don't believe she's still alive. One image that has stayed with so many of us, the little girl covered by a blanket, carried out of the home by police, behind her father, moments after his arrest on charges of hiding a body. And baby is being left. Bandita Sharma Dahal is the immigration attorney who helped Mamta's mother and brother get to the United States from their home in Nepal. They arrived Tuesday. She was a joyful person with all the dances and everything, you know. That's the image that they have seen. And just to imagine that that particular house could have been a place where some big incident might have, have happened to her daughter. It's unimaginable. Sharma Dahal put out a message to the community late Wednesday afternoon, letting them know that mini Mamta had been reunited with her uncle and grandmother. We owe it to the communities to let the community know that, you know, all the good wishes, prayers have worked out. However, she says the family is asking for privacy. Sometimes as an act of kindness, you just want to bring something for the baby or bring something for them. But at this moment, they are not ready. She says prior to this, a close friend of Mamta's was watching her. She says the community has rallied behind Mini Mamta both emotionally and financially. In a matter of 24 hours, we are able to raise more than $200,000. She says that money will go to the baby. As for long-term custody of the little girl who is a U.S. citizen, she says it's too soon for that conversation. For now, they're just focused on making sure she is loved. Although parents' love cannot be replaced and baby is still at a very vulnerable phase and is, she's surrounded by people who love her. So the attorney told me tonight that Mamta's family will likely not attend Narush Bot's hearing tomorrow because they aren't quite ready to speak to the community or the media, understandably. Yeah, this has been such a hard story for them. They've lost a loved one and the community has mm -hmm. really rallied. We know we'll continue and you'll continue to help lead our coverage on this, Katie. Yes. Thank you. And because we have been following this from the very beginning, we're going to keep you updated every step of the way. So what is next? Well, here are three things we are following on this story. First, as Katie mentioned, Mamta's husband, Naresh Bhatt, is due back in court tomorrow. We will be there too. A judge ordered Bhatt held without bond on Monday. He's charged with concealing a dead body, which brings us to number two. The police chief of Manassas Park says the department is looking into possible additional charges. And then thirdly, sadly, Mamta is still missing. Investigators tell us her cell phone last pinged in Loudoun County back on August 1st. We can get you all caught up on Mamta's story. Just scan this QR code on your screen with your phone. Click the link that pops up and you'll have full coverage on this tragedy along with all of our efforts to push for answers.